in five, four, three, Two. I know you'll see somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. Ming, 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 live life, breathe air. I know just how we're gonna get there and be so wonderful. It's all for real. I'm telling you this how I feel. So wake up the members of my nation. It's your time to be. There's no chance unless you take one. And see the brighter side of every situation. Some things are meant to be. So give me your best and leave the rest to me. Leave it all to me. Leave it all to me. Leave it all to me. Just leave it all to me. Rest in peace, Drake Bell. <laughs> Brian, start us off, baby. What is up, guys? My name is Brian. I am one half of the Pokido, and I am with... Um... Really, really flu-like because of the vaccine. Oh, man. I am doing all right, though. I'm gonna hang in there. But let me tell you, Are folks, you hanging in there, champ? Uh, slightly, but I'm gonna persevere. We just made a bunch of spaghetti tacos for another video that we're gonna save just for you guys. Spoiler uh, alert! Yeah, I might as well get the goods out. Um, which are actually pretty good. I've never had them before. Brian has had them. Yes. Um, and I give them a solid good out of ten. Um, but yes, I'm not feeling too well. I'm still persevering. I'm here to do the season finale podcast episode of iCarly mm. season one season one the reboot and we're gonna we're gonna kick this off with um hang on a sec champ how do you see the timer here it's not oh. like an iphone yeah and then you will just scroll up having technical difficulties y'all please stay with us awesome all right, uh, and now that's out of the way, we're going to start this episode with... <laughs> 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 yeah, it's going to get... Uh, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss that. That's going to be a fun bit. It's going to be a fun bit. I'm going to miss it. And uh, while we carry on with other topics, let's leave this with good graces, because I've had so fun. what you can do is just repeatedly tap it so it doesn't go away. Yep. There you go. Yep. So... Uh, let's leave the show in good graces, because I had a fun time recording this podcast about yeah. this series of episodes with you, Yeah. Um, and more to come later about other topics, other TV shows, other pop culture stuff. Yeah. But uh, overall, Brian, what did you think about iCarly Season 1? Season 1 of the new iCarly, uh, it was um, honestly pretty hit or miss on some of the episodes, I would say. Mm -hmm. Not all of them were bangers. Not all of them have to be bangers. No. But, uh, I definitely th think there is something on your, like, A, B, A team, B team, C team theory. It's gotta what be. we've been watching. It's gotta be, man. Yeah. We still, I still have not investigated that. Well, I did actually a little bit. That's, that's not true. Um, it turns out that a lot of the writers are random, and they're just a bunch of different writers. Some hit, some don't. Um, but, uh, just for those who are just tuning in to this episode and haven't seen or heard the previous podcast episodes that we've done for this season, uh, we have kind of come up with a pseudo pattern for how the episodes vary in quality. Mm -hmm. We uh, we watch them uh, every three weeks, uh, or every two weeks, and it's three episodes per podcast episode. What we have discovered, and I think you agree with me on this, mm -hmm. is that the first episode out of our batch, whenever we get together to do this... Tends all, to not it, slap as hard. It's the weakest, the weakest out of the three, yeah. Um, I might just go back to that, because <laughs> I'm going to get distracted. Fuck it. Um, second episode, here you can turn it off, let's just, yeah. fuck it, we'll, we'll come up with a better system later. Yeah. Um, second episode, sorry about that guys, technicalities, but we're not chewing on popcorn this time, so you're welcome. Sorry for that, I can't apologize enough. Going back to that, uh, what we were talking about, second episode out of the batch seems to be the second best for that particular batch we're watching, and then whenever it comes to the third episode of our sessions our watch sessions, it usually tends to be the best. Yeah. Um, so, with that being said... Maybe it's just because we have to warm up. We're warming up to iCarly a little bit because we're coming after work or... Mm, that's something... Yeah. I, 
that might have just a little bit of something to do with it. it takes us a little to warm up to it. Yeah, I, there's some truth to that, I, but I, I I do think even when because there, there, we 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 did an episode, we did a podcast episode without. Uh, like I, I, it was for me at least. Uh, there was one we did. I forgot. I think it was the first or the second session we did, where I didn't uh, come off of work mm-hmm. just then, and we went straight in, and it was still the same progression of quality. Mm-hmm. So I think there is some truth to it. You might be right. It could just be the work fatigue, but I don't think so. Okay. Um, I will say though, um, the last episode. Ah, let's just say it's not quite a one. But it's definitely no, not a three. It's it's not a three. It's definitely this is a, a scale of one to three, folks. This isn't like a one to five, one to ten. This is a scale of one to three. Right, right. And 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 in relation to the the pattern of which we watch each couple of or trio of episodes, um, it's. I think it's a two. I I agree. It's not as good as a three, but it's not as mediocre. It's as not a one point five. Yeah. And it's not like a two point five. I yeah. Think it's just straight like a two. And it's not like mediocre like the season premiere or episode four or episode uh, seven. You know, like those. those I think we said eight was actually. Probably. Uh, I think it was eight. I think we had a good time with. Uh, right. Seven, but eight we just. Uh, right. Or ten. There you yeah. go. Episode ten. Yeah, whichever one. Um, it's on the same line as uh, episodes one uh, or sorry not episodes one but the two uh, five uh, and um, eleven I would say yeah. it's on the same level of quality I mean I, I I'm just gonna say it um, and I've been I've been talking a lot I'll let you talk I promise but like I'm passionate and how not passionate I was about this episode mm-hmm. it wasn't a letdown okay it wasn't a letdown but I I, I thought there were some good moments in the episode. There were some really good moments. Yeah, especially with Spencer and Freddie, who kind of carried it with Harper and, uh, what's her face? Um, Harper and Double Dutch. Double Dutch. Yeah. Who was played by this actress. I didn't get to actually put a picture of her in the last episode, so I apologize. So here's her with her name. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, they carried the episode, but the pivotal protagonist of the series is in this stupid love triangle that I couldn't give two shits about. Right. With this boy that randomly disappears after the first episode in the season, mm-hmm. and her current bo- boyfriend, who we've only seen two episodes with, and doesn't really have a lot of charisma. He's just kind of an item. He knows a lot about mechanics. He knows a lot about survival. That's, that's, that's his shtick. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all right. I mean... Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I, I... I've been talking a long time. Yeah. You, you go ahead. So, uh... So the character that uh, we were talking about, his name is Bo. He was the boyfriend of I, of Carly in the very first episode when he breaks up with her on a live stream. On a live stream. And apparently they're they've been invited to go to this award ceremony slash glamping trip, which is a combination of glam and camping, where you're camping but you're also getting manicures or or looking fabulous or whatever however however glamping is I don't know what glamping is I don't glamp is that a real thing? yeah it's a real thing I've never heard of it yep it's just like high profile camping basically right it's glamping I've never it's, it's all these all you millennials in your terms and your catchphrases I can't keep up I can't even keep up with all these shenanigans and I'm 27 I'm a millennial god damn it yeah but uh so it's this award thing, the Webicon. It's called Webicon. Webicon. I don't know if that's an actual thing or not. If they made it up. A uh, video, vid, vid, vid. What is it called? Like the video, video con. Video con. Video con. What the Vimeo, hell is it called? I don't, I, we don't know. Not worth work. Not worth looking up. Oh yes, it is. I'm a professional. I really don't want to do this though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But they go on this little camping trip, and they is. Carly, Harper, Spencer, Freddie, uh, Double Dutch, Double Dutch, and the new boyfriend. What's his name again? Wes. 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 Yes, Wes is the name. So they're all going to this camp. They, they're they're told it's going to be in tree houses, and there's going to be plumbing, electricity, and all that. And they get there, it's like a rock that says Webicon. It's it's just a spot in the woods. Yeah. With a tarp that Freddie has to glean off of a uh, a passerby uh, and it's never explained how he does that I think he killed him <laughs> it's possible I actually missed that line in the um, in the episode that that was what happened but. no 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 I, I'm just speculating this okay. is just iCarly fanfic from Christian okay iCarly fanfic from fiction 
from Christian. <laughs> I Carly fan Christian. Yo, <laughs> we're not doing an edit for that. I, I refuse. That's your uh, train. That's your train. That'd be your uh, trainer class in Pokemon. The I Carly fan. I far- I Carly fan Christian wants to battle. I Carly fan Christian. Uh, fan Christian wants to battle. Okay, continue, my friend. But uh, so um, there they meet up with Bo, and he's apparently presenting whatever award that uh, Carly is up for. Right. He's up, she's up for some kind of award, and that's very weird because her ex-boyfriend is going to present an award to Carly, who now has the, a boyfriend who is with her at this very moment. So that's very yeah. awkward. It's awkward and it doesn't make sense. Because, like, Bo is, uh, a, a, he has, like, a doctorate or something in, in foot, in feet, you know, there was the whole Dan Schneider credit thing, uh, yeah. which we'll get to in this episode in, in a few minutes. But, yeah, I remember him just being like, oh, I'm a foot doctor or something. Was that oh, what it was? No, I think he was, they wanted, he wanted to do, well, Carly wanted to do a channel with him. Yeah, but he did something. What was his profession? I don't, I don't know. I think he just had a lot of money from his dad. It was either, because I know it was one of these two things, because I remember two, both jokes. He was either a foot specialist or he was a mouth feeler expert. Johnny, run the numbers. God, why do I do this to myself? Cha-ching! Oh, look at that. I was right in a half sense. Okay. Uh, how about that? Yeah, but yeah, I, whatever he is, because I can't see the edit, um, he didn't have any connection to the, the internet yeah. other than being with Carly and trying to start a channel with her. His dad was really rich, though, because yeah. part of this That's was true. that uh, Freddy's startup, the cooking thing failed, obviously. Yeah, so he's been he's been feeling a little down in the dumps. Poor Fredo. He has this another startup idea. It's matching uh, uh, service dogs with people who need service dogs or something like that. It was yeah. something like that. And uh, Melissa, being the schemer in the group, the teams up with uh, Spencer to. Uh, Megan teams up with Crazy Steve. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, they team up and they get. Uh, Bo to um, invest in this new app. Yes, and he's all for it because he they lie to him and say that there's thousands of other investors or like hundreds of other investors. Yeah, and uh, you know you don't want to get left out. You know, come on and invest. So so he's thinking logically. He's like, okay, I think about it. Let me talk to my dad. He's the one who actually has the money. He's the one that sends me to these Webicon conferences to present awards. Yeah. I don't get it, but I guess that's the joke. Yeah. Not a great joke. So, uh... Sorry, I At this point, uh, well... So, in this episode, there appears to be a dichotomy between Carly and Wes going mm-hmm. on. Carly... Well, the context is that they're trapped in the wilderness. We know they're trapped in the wilderness. It wasn't what they thought it would be, so... It never is. Wes's Eagle Scout survival version of himself comes up and he's like okay we're gonna do this this and this this and this and we're just gonna survive this weekend he's a golden boy while carly is like i want to do flower crowns and and i gotta admit uh, flower crowns a pretty good headpiece for carly yeah it would be it, it was, it was, it, it's fine it was a nice headpiece it's a nice headpiece nice headpiece and he want to do a very nice nature hike yes but, well i mean but, We'll go on. And then, uh, it's kind of the, there, there, there's a repeating in this episode that I mentioned from the last one. It's like sprained ankles, uh, poison dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something else. There's a third one. I forgot. That was the, it was the, uh, the reason why Wes didn't want to do this group of things was because Forest of, fires. Forest fires, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Forest fires, yeah. So forest fire, it was, um, <clears throat> My mind went blank. There, good man. Take your time. It, went, it was uh, sprained ankles, forest fires, and poison dick. That's yeah. their wordplay for the episode. For yeah, sure. the wordplay for the episode that came up multiple times mm-hmm. throughout the entire episode. Those three words. Very observant because every episode does have that kind of fairly odd appearance writer way about uh, the way the jokes are structured. They'll, yeah. they'll have a recurring joke. The reason I say fairly odd appearance is because they did this the same way, at least in the early years. I remember. 
Uh, it's almost like a cash phrase just for that episode. Yeah. Um, or it's a building joke, you know. It's just like and it comes in threes most of the time. But yeah, uh, this this season of iCarly, this this reboot of iCarly re- relies very heavily on that. Mm-hmm. Not in a bad way. It's cute. Um, the other thing I thought was cute, and I guess I'll just go ahead and say it because um, it needs to be said, is uh, Harper and uh, Double Dutch. They're an item, yo. Yeah, let's gay. get let's get them gays represented. Gay, be, things just need to be more gay. That's the hill we're gonna die on. Things, <laughs> things need to be more, more gay. gay. How about more accepting? Just more accepting. I need more gay. Okay. He wants more accepting. I want more gay. Like accepting of all cultures, unless you're like into um weird shit like child pornography. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that at all. But that aside, dark weird shit that Christian mentions randomly aside, <laughs> um, I liked it. I thought yeah. it was pretty. I, actually, I like this relationship more than Carly and Wes. Yes. Uh, it was actually esta- established more efficiently. Uh, she was in an extra episode more than Wes. And yeah. I just felt the chemistry more. Yeah. Not only that, but I'm going to say this. And this is really my disappointment with the love triangle thing. Other than Bo and sometimes Carly, there really wasn't a lot of comedy from that group. I mean, Wes is not really funny. Um, he's right. a straight man. Yeah. And Bo was all right. I could take him or leave him. Yeah, but Carly's very charming. You know, that's where her comedy comes from. Right. Miranda Cosgrove is very good at, you know, cute, very, very... um you know, pretty girl type of comedy, I suppose yeah. you'd call it. Very cute. Yeah. Um, I didn't feel it, though. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, if, and I know it's she's the star of the show, but God damn, they could have made it more interesting. I, 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 after a while, I wanted to see more of Harper and Double Dutch. I was like, just give me an episode with them and Spencer and Freddy. That's all I want, really, at this point. But unfortunately, I, I it, it was bland versus... Interesting. Uh, so and the interesting Harper, bits weren't Carly. Yeah, so Harper and Double Dutch are in this uh, partnership of work. So mm-hmm. um, from the last episode, um, Harper was hired by some company that represents Double Dutch. I think that's how it works. And then so uh, Harper is the stylist for Double Dutch. But it's established in between all their... Uh, on camera interactions and then obviously the off camera stuff that uh, feelings are beginning to happen. Well, they're fiery and explosive. Yes. <laughs> They've already began. So they meet up. So uh, they they use they part they partially use this uh, disastrous camping trip as a way to actually acknowledge those feelings there. Yeah, and then so they, they give that. a big old smooch. Yeah, they're like they begin they begin to do the normal thing where it's like we're working together. This is my dream job. We don't want to ruin it. And they're like, yes, yes, yes. So they get together. They do this little routine or something where they're like, okay, yeah, we're not going to uh, worry about the feelings. Our feelings are gone. And then as soon as they say that, it is a makeout section, a makeout session in the woods. Because they cannot deny their feelings. Well, it actually gets relatively sexual because uh, Double Dutch reveals um, some serious cleavage. Yeah. That... Um, She's a beautiful woman, but Harper, uh, her reaction. You was, see her in the yeah. episode looking at the cleavage. Yeah, like, yeah. I was, I was kind of impressed yeah. by that. I was like, okay, fuck it. Not always for kids. Let's, let's do it. You know. Yeah. Fuck it. And she's gay. She's not annoyingly like in your face. Like, hey, that's my personality. Kind of gay. She's a good character who happens to be gay, and I thought it was perfect. Yeah. You know, looks at her cleavage. Obviously, she's attracted, and they give a very, very well earned kiss. Um, I just wish it was more. Of the center, we of both the, did. Of this Gay! episode, we did. We both did that. Gay, gay. But I wish it was more the center of the episode, like because uh, right. that was the more. It was more interesting. And then at the end, they did this uh, thing where uh, they're talking to everyone. It's like a documentary kind of thing. Yeah, which I was odd, but welcome. I like the little uh, descriptions of everybody. I thought mm-hmm. those were really funny. Yeah. Those are some really funny descriptions they have for each other. I agree. What was uh, Freddie's description? like? Uh... Uh, founder Kevin. Founder Kevin. So yeah. I think Kevin is the name of the app. I, I guess Kevin is the name of the app or I something. guess. Or it's a new app that we didn't know about because he right. almost gives up. But Spencer pep talks him, buddy. Gives him the Spencer charm. It's kind of weird that the daughter becomes his first investor into this app. I thought that was weird. She gives him $13. $13. 
But I, I predicted... Is that not a conflict of interest? Yes. Is anyone in business... Uh, if anyone in business, let me know if that's a conflict of interest. That sounds like a conflict of interest to me. I've, I've got the answer. Someone just rang on the phone. It is. <laughs> um, yeah, but I spent, there, there, there was a moment... And I want to get into Spencer a little bit, because he was on fire in this episode. Not and literally. Not literally. Uh, that would have been cool. Um, I want more <laughs> fire within jokes. Character. Within character. Yeah. That would uh, also have been... I, I think the fucker only started two fires this season. Fuck. That is an all-time low for this guy. No, what's happening? But you um, get in touch with Dairy Trainer. I agree. Um, yeah, but you know, he like at the end of the episode, there's this moment where he alludes that he might give Freddy some money, because he's rich. They don't do it. Um, and I don't know, they probably had this episode wrapped and done by the time, by the time they had it wrapped and done, um, it was all in the can, and only during the show's premiere, like, while it was airing, did they find out they were going to be renewed for a second season. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want to, like, conclusively end it all, like, with, a a bookend, you know? Like, like a a nice little wrap everything up, uh, you know, like, it's all done. It's open enough for other, um, stories to come out. So, you know, and not, not just with, uh, Spencer investing in Freddy, but Freddy, finally trying to get a job which they they're probably going to let him succeed the writers they're probably going to let him finally accomplish uh making a successful app at some point you're right uh spencer's probably going to give him some money um i still think carly and freddie will be together at some point but um, that's going to be on hold and i think harper and uh double dutch they're going to go deep into that yeah because that's i like double dutch i mentioned i've mentioned that i i think she is probably the craziest fucking character in this series yeah in both series of iCarly. But I, I, I've, I've warmed up, and I, I actually just kind of like her. Yeah. <laughs> there was one outburst she made where um, her dress had been picked off of. It was a marshmallow dress. Mm-hmm. And uh, to survive, everyone picks off marshmallows so they can eat them on the fire, make s'mores, you know, roasted marshmallows. She finds out, and she just starts wigging out, like just completely freaking out. And Freddie starts walking away. And in the middle of her freak out, she goes, hang on, I'm not done. And she still, like, continues freaking out and, like, walks the other direction while wailing. Mm-hmm. And goes, okay, no, you're good. Stuff like that. Yeah. It's good. I like the wacky stuff of Ike yeah. Harley. Yeah. And uh, we'll get into more of that in a minute, but... This uh, episode actually seems to be written relatively recently. Mm-hmm. Because at the very beginning, when they realized that, uh, they're, uh, that the campsite wasn't as glampy as they thought it would be. Right. One character says, uh, what are we in hell? And then, um, Harper, Harper says, we're not in hell. Hell has Lil Nas X. Yeah. And that, that that's referencing the recent music, video, the music, the music video. So that's been filmed relatively. So about a month is, and a half ago, right? Yeah. That, that was a pretty recent music video. They, they might've, you're right. That was recent. That was pretty recent. Huh. And the, and the season got renewed earlier this summer. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it's, I'll it, look it up. I'm going I'm to see when that uh, video was released. The reason I'm... Uh, while you look that up, I'll, I'll say this. The reason I, I... It doesn't feel like a season finale to me. It, it didn't feel strong enough. And they tried to come through with the potency of this love triangle, but it just wasn't happening. It, it, and they were really putting all their eggs in one basket there. They really could have just made it a wacky, zany thing and relive the, the old days of iCarly. You know, like really go all out with the body humor or the yeah, it was for the, the physical comedy so the video where he goes to hell is called Montero yeah yeah. how long ago was that uh, Montero was let's see when was Montero we're gonna just go to YouTube yeah find on YouTube when at the date was Montero released if it was released like earlier this year and it just got popular that's different uh, Montero the music video uh-huh. Yeah, we'll just go to YouTube. This is yeah, just look the date up there, in the description. Let me just get there. We go YouTube. Montero. So five months ago. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So that was before the season got renewed. So they were like cutting. They were like putting fire under their asses to get the season finished. Yeah. I mean, if there's, that's like only a month later, I think. That's a per, that is a very recent uh, reference. Yeah. Because only a month later, or two months at least, or at most, I think, they released the season premiere. Yeah, the premiere Carly. was in June, I believe, right? Okay, so... And we're now in... August, July... Uh, June. Okay, so that's three months ago. Yeah. Damn. So yeah, that makes sense. 
That makes sense. So they must have just been, like, when that video was released, they might have been filming it. And they just thought it would be funny to add a reference to a very openly gay rapper. Because yeah. the show definitely reveals itself to be more and more um, friendly to the LBGT uh, community. Um, so that's probably why. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah. But, yeah, that I, I agree. Um, good joke, though. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good... Uh, yeah, I was like, hey... Harper's funny, man. Yeah. Uh, her, her, all around. Like, and everyone did great this episode. I mean, it's, it's, it was. They're good actors. They're good comedic actors, all of them. But man, I, I love me some Spencer, man. There's, there's this great joke, and you know the one I'm talking about, mm-hmm. where the treehouse that they're staying in, in this glamp, you know, when the, yeah. when they're glamping, treehouse just randomly during it. Is it a storm? It's a, it's a thunderstorm or uh, something, and it get, and maybe the tree that it's in gets hit by lightning or something. It never really explains it, but it, the whole treehouse set that the actors are on or, appears to be tilting wildly. Yeah. Everyone's like... Oh. This is the first scene where uh, we get the hint that there are some feelings going on between uh, Double Dutch yeah. and... Uh, and uh, Harper. Harper, yeah. Because uh, during this whole tumultuous affair, uh, everyone's like leaning on each other and bumping into each other, and uh, Harper and... Double Dutch end up on each other and, and Bo and respectively with Carly and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, Spencer, though, wearing headphones the whole fucking time. Yeah. He smiling. Is, he, is, he is not even aware. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, he's so this not... goes on for multiple minutes. He's just listening to this really awesome album. Right, with he's headphones. With headphones. And he has no he's idea. He's just smiling. What's going on. He's sort of swaying with the actual building that's swaying. Like he's like yeah. in, in with the rhythm. Has no idea that the building's about to collapse. And he's just smiling to music, and then after, <laughs> and then, t- and then a few a few minutes later, he takes off the headphones. And he's like, "Hey guys, this album rocks my world." world. Or something yeah, like that. and I was like, "That." He's a- still smiling. He puts it back on. Yeah, and no one is no one that's bothered going like, "Hey, uh, Spencer, you, we were literally rocking back and forth." Yeah, I know. <laughs> like literally, not because of the music, but because of this. Bad structure in this treehouse. Exactly. No brilliant shit. No, the, the writer. You can tell the writers wanted to end with the Spencer heavy episode. I mean, come on, just have a Spencer have a spinoff show for Christ's sakes. Yeah, uh, it would get old a little bit pretty fast because it's just one character. I think it would be interesting be if interesting. it was like the story of him getting rich. That I I agree. I agree completely. But um, it wouldn't be very sitcommy. That would be, that'd be, yeah, it wouldn't have Carly, because I think he got rich while Carly was vacationing or something. In Italy! In Italy, yeah. So it'd be a whole new, sh- it would be a whole new show with a whole new cast of characters. Absolutely. But I will say, um, no, Spencer it up, man. Give me those jokes. There's, there's a moment in the episode where he acts like a dog to help Freddy's pitch. Yeah. Which is amazing. Like, it's, it's just fantastic. Freddy gives a laugh like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nathan Crest delivering up the goods lately. We've been talking about it. It's like his character did a 180, and uh, his characters between the original I Carly and the I Carly, and uh, this one, like his the comedic role that he plays, just as a complete complete 180. I think it has to do a lot with just growing up and probably having the world batter him down. Yeah, like he's been like emotionally battered by uh, failure. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of made him off kilter and crazy. Yeah. Um, Random dancing. Yeah. 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 Come on. That's right, buckaroos. We get fucking multiple random dancing in the finale. Yep. The finale calls for a second random dancing. Oh, that's and, fair. Yeah, and two's all we need. Two's all we need. Yeah. So anyway. Or is it? No, it's it random though. It is random, but uh, so yeah, there's uh, and then there 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 comes this point where uh, they do this faux award ceremony for the thing. Yeah, West and builds her an award ceremony. It's all romantic and blah. and it's kind of this thing that is well. The plan is for that to be what uh, makes Carly choose between Bo and Wes. Yes. And she just does not make a decision. She just kind of walks off. And on the way home, the two men stare at her creepily the entire uh, entire flight home. It was weird. Um, but that's the joke. Um, that's how the episode really ends. That and the ending documentarian interviews, um, which are fun. And then the ver- I think the very last line of the thing was Freddy's, where it said, like, uh, 
creator Kevin or something like right. that. Founder Kevin. Founder Kevin. And he says, I got poison dick. <laughs> penis, penis parasite. Penis parasite, that's yeah. it. Yeah, penis yeah. parasite. They can't that's say dick it. on iCarly. You can't say dick on iCarly. Yeah, it was penis parasite, you're right. It was you could say parasite. bitch in hell and damn, but not dick, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I had penis parasite. Which is bad, uh-huh. and I should know. I've had it. <laughs> it's not pretty, guys. Kids, grow up. Puberty's gonna hit, and uh, you're gonna start experiencing parasites that are friendly, parasites that are not so friendly, and then parasites that will cost you uh, about forty thousand dollars down the road. And an arm and a dick, <laughs> and you don't want that. Stay away from the bad parasites. Only go to the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Well, I'm just trying to see like the whole entire episode is is really just a camping trip, where it's just a love triangle with that Carly. Didn't care. And the, the, the kind of difference between the two the love triangles and the first Die Carly and this one is that we actually we actually cared about the characters in the first Die Carly series. Yeah, like Sam and Freddie. They we were got main characters. In, we got. Emotionally invested in that trio of characters. But these are two new guys that just came on, like, an episode or two. And it's yeah. like, I don't care. And it doesn't really add to anything. It amounts to nothing. Carly just doesn't make a decision in the end. I just I don't mean, know we why they... cared more about Harper and Double Dutch. Right. And, and Spencer and his, you know, qualms and his gags and goofs. You know, like, this way, the bears can't reach our food. And he's, like, pulling a rope pulley up a tree. Millicent, Millicent says, okay, are the bears going to eat us now? Drops the bag in a comedic fashion. That's what I wanted more of. Yeah. That's what I wanted more of. Brian? Damn. They could have dropped the... Uh, they probably could have dropped the uh, love triangle there, since it didn't... Or made it more interesting. Yeah. You know, making it more interesting is, is really all I want. You know, like, at the end of the day, Ike Harley is a very junk foodie, very zany show. <laughs> Let's yeah. be honest. It's, it doesn't have a lot of depth. Um... And I know it's a sitcom, so duh. But even for sitcom standards, it's it's still very, very, you know, old old timey Nickelodeon was like that too. It's just yeah. like it's it's pure junk food for the mind. Yeah. Um, and it's I love it for that. I don't want to see a fucking super serious love or a semi serious love triangle that's not interesting. You know, if you're gonna hit those notes, go for it, but do it well. Um, and even like the Dan Schneider cam- cami uh uh credit was off this episode yeah it didn't hit a mark that I thought it would like uh, one of the characters says that something is sick like sick in a good way yeah and that's when his name comes up but it's like but sick in this sense is good right. why not like wait for like the boyfriend to show up because he's kind of a douchebag and then you notice that like a couple of frames later uh, Double Dutch makes this weird face or something like that yeah it could have been that like she has a grotesque like disgusting face like like oh uh, a face of disgust an expression of disgust and why not put it there I don't know it's, it, I feel like they rushed this episode I, I, I tell you what it, it was filmed five months ago as we just learned or maybe even less than that because of the little Nas X reference yeah. they might have been you know been hollered like like the, the executives of the show might have been like putting fire under their ass and like really trying to pressure them to hurry up so and maybe not just the writing but the production as well not that the production looks bad but it feels like it, there wasn't a lot of fleshing out with a lot of the arcs and a lot of the a lot of the intrigue uh, and the story was kind of weak I feel like they rushed it uh, it's, it, it really felt like that and I think it was because they were kind of um, getting closer and closer to the wire you know, yeah. like get, get into the bottom line. You know, and, and and showbiz. I get it. You know, I'm I'm slowly but surely going into it. Uh, it's art, but you have to hurry up. <laughs> you know, yeah. you got to get shit done. It it felt like that to me in this episode. It felt like they rushed it. That being said, I still enjoyed myself. Yeah. You know, I enjoy this whole season. There's just a few weak ones, and I I, I think there are. I, season the first seasons of most TV series. I mean, there's exceptions like The Sopranos. The first season of that show is brilliant. I mean, like there's not a there's not a non great episode or season in The Sopranos. Mm-hmm. You have exceptions, but usually TV shows, especially sitcoms, their weakest season is usually the first or the last. Mm-hmm. And this is the first. Not to say that it was weak, but I feel like they're going to be more on fire with the second season because they're going to they they know who they're writing. You know, they know the characters better. Right. And they know exactly how to kind of work with the actors to deliver better jokes, blah, blah, blah. And they know 
here's a theory. They might have just been spitballing writers and seeing who was good at coming up with the best script, and they're going to use those writers. Yeah, they're using season one as a trial period. Yeah, a litmus test. Yeah. So it might be that. It might be that because the episodes were varied in quality, very, very greatly varied in quality. Um, But at the end of the day, I look forward to season two because I think they're going to have their A game, and they're probably going to give them more time since this was successful. Yeah. Uh, Critics, pretty, pretty... Okay with the series. I mean, yeah. they're, they're it's getting not glowing reviews, but people are enjoying it. They're watching it. Critics are saying good things. Yeah. So I look forward to the second it's season. Hitting the nostalgia. Fact. It's hitting the nostalgia in a not annoying way. The I think. the emotional turd is hitting the nostalgic fan. Yeah. But it's not relying on nostalgia. I don't think. I mean, there's no relying on nostalgia, and that's I, I just don't re- me as a person who uh, person of color. No. <laughs> As someone who, uh, I'm not a person of color, I'm very white. But <laughs> That's as, a color! <laughs> is it though? It's like an absence of color. White oh. is like an absence. No, black is the absence of color. White is every color. Sorry, we're going science here. Never mind. We're going as racial! A, as, someone, as someone who uh, absorbs in uh, media. Like, uh, like chips? Yes. Um, I'm not a big fan of full nostal- full nostalgic as the gimmick of the show or whatever. No, because... And I don't not think iCarly did that. No. Uh, they dipped into it occasionally. They did... I did say... I'm. It is good that they dipped into the nostalgia, but they didn't mm-hmm. rely on the nostalgia. They still had right. new stuff. They and, still had new uh, yeah. characters, new stuff, new quirks. And honestly, it's entertainment. It's a sitcom at the end of the day. It's okay to have some fan service. Yeah. That, it's entertaining. Yeah. Just don't let it be the show. Right. Let it be in spurts. Let it enhance moments. Yeah. You know, and I, I was really surprised at how little from the first series was in this. They really were stepping into new territory. Yeah, uh, they had, they didn't put on the nostalgia goggles. Not really. Yeah. I mean, it, it was really accepting of accepting of like this is a new era of internet culture, and right. we're going to embrace that. And yeah. uh, you know, I mean, like I, I don't think the satire and the commentary was is as cutting as it was in the early part of the season. I don't think it needs to be, but um, it would be nice to kind of have that back in some aspect. You could argue this episode had it a little bit. Like, oh, millennials can't live outdoors. <laughs> it's kind of weak. Yeah. It's kind of a weak commentary. Everybody, that's because it's not true. Right. <laughs> There's plenty of millennials that like to live outdoors. Yeah. Including me! I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. I like inside very much. Yes. There's, well, a, there's a disease out there, folks. Yeah, and I'm I'm riding the wave of the cure. Woo! I've already written my wave of the cure. You didn't have a side effects like I did, though. I had the good one. You had a, the less painful one. Yeah, that's the good one. Oh, well, they're both good, Brian. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't really have much else to say. I'm looking forward to the second season. Like I said, yeah, I'm sure. It, there's they're more polished now. They know the characters more. The writers do. They probably have more. They didn't do the uh, shortened version of the theme song. Yeah, they did the whole thing. Yeah, they did. Well, they did that at the beginning of the season too. Which, yeah, the uh, very first episode and the very last episode were the ones where they did the entire uh, theme song. Right. But all the other episodes, they like cut off some part of it. Yeah. I can't think of what part they cut off, but. But I think they'll take the polished, um, you know, ideas and, and character traits and writers that they found out worked for this show and really implement them in the second season. And I'm really looking forward really to Freddie. I think they're watching our podcast and taking notes to our uh, praises and criticisms. No, no doubt. I mean, we're we're like bigger than Joe Rogan, man. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You listening to me, Joe? You listening to me? Hey, Joe. Um, did you did you hear me? Yeah, you. Come get some Well, music. first off, I actually am a big fan of your podcast and um second off, uh, suck it. Ha! Yeah, who we don't need a two million dollars to make a podcast? What a sellout! Just need a phone, two friends, and enough time. If um, if I'm in even worse condition on the next podcast, not not vaccine side effects, but like my head's caved in. It's because Joe Rogan came to my house and beat the shit out of me. Yes. Um. Fuck you, Dan Schneider. <laughs> Yeah, we're 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 we don't stand Dan Schneider. We don't stand Jan Schneider. <laughs> yeah, it's like apparently he's coming back, and sometimes it's like I hear news that he isn't coming back. It's so random. Random <laughs> dancing. Ah, oh, false yeah. alarm. <laughs> false alarm. <laughs> to keep you guys on your toes. Yep. 
is what I'm doing. I don't know about you. Brian, you got any other thoughts, man? Um, I think we're good. Here. I think we're, uh, we're good. Well, we can't just leave it on this note. We gotta... Well, I mean, we're good about the iCarly, but we are going to talk a little bit about uh, our future endeavors with this podcast. Well, first, I want to ask you this. What are you most looking forward to for the second season? Second season? I want uh, more Harper and uh, Double Dutch. I want their relationship to be defined. Yeah. I don't think it's very defined at this moment. No, it's in the lightning stage. Yeah, it's. I, I want their... Thing to be defined as a thing or not a thing. I want that defined. I want... You only get one thing, Bozo. You only get one thing. I only get one thing, that's all one I get. Thing. Okay, what is your one thing? We'll spitball, then? we'll go back and forth. I just want more Spencer. I want Spencer to be even more present, because mm-hmm. um, I think we could have used 15% more Spencer. Yeah. You don't want you know, too much salt. You know, you can't add too much salt or too much seasoning. got to have it just right. But I think we could have made it a little saltier, a little spicier. And Spencer's just that spice that we need, yo. Did you want more fires? Did you? I, well, I don't want to put them out my fire. <laughs> what else are you looking forward to? We'll go back and uh, forth. I guess we can uh, talk about uh, Carly actually uh, not having boy issues. Yeah, um, and stop being such a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to go to her place and talk to her or anything like that. I don't want to do that. Not but right. I would like a a, uh, a love interest for Carly that doesn't involve a triangle. Or a let's, funny Let's one. do a line. Or how about this? A funny love interest. Fuck's sake. I mean, we need someone that's funny. So, okay. So, spend season two developing the love triangle between Carly and two different people. Or just get... Someone else and yeah, have her make be funny. one male and one female. Let's let's do, let's just go all out. Let's make this more gay. But make it funny. Yes, make it funny. And in season three, we can start uh, by Carly questioning the love triangle of one. Like, okay, do I want this person? Do I want this person? Exactly. I also want Noah Monk to show up. I know he said he wouldn't, but hopefully they can persuade him. I, that's, <laughs> Damn, I just miss I miss Gibby, man. I miss Gibby was Gibby. great. Gibby was great, but I think he's gone. Yeah, and he has. I think I think he has a a, a beef with the programming. I understand, um, because of uh, a wonderful man that we've already mentioned several times, who likes child's feet, children feet. I get it, Noah. You're out there. I'm looking after you, even though you're probably fine in your multi million dollar mansion. Yes. Um. We would like to see you. And other than that, I just hope for sharper writing. Uh, consistent. Yeah, writing. A more cons- Yeah, definitely more consistency. Yeah, you hear me, writers? You better get on it. I'm going to take away your food rationing. I'm kidding. Wait, it's consistent. Consistent, yes. Consistent writing. Write that down, write that down! Uh, <laughs> write that down, Gary, write that down! Oh, uh, I lost my paper. <laughs> write that down, Patrick, write that down! <sighs> anyway, anything else, buddy? Anything else? Should we talk about our future next endeavors? Future endeavors. We'll talk about in future our future endeavors. Well, we have a both have stomachs filled with spaghetti tacos. Which check that out in uh, tomorrow. We'll po- or the next step. The ne- no, we'll post it tomorrow. We'll post okay. the spaghetti taco video tomorrow. It's just a straight, a non-edited little special treat for the five of you that like the show. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're sitting here full. I feel like shit. Um, and I don't have anything. I think you I mentioned... I work in two hours. Oh, jeez. Well, uh, you mentioned Dad's Declassified. Dad's Declassified, yeah. Which is a good choice. Mm-hmm. We could probably do episodes of five instead of three. Yeah. Because they're shorter. Yeah. They're 11 minutes. 11 but, minutes with two episodes per episode. Right. Yeah. I think either that or Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Because I wouldn't mind. But Jimmy Neutron... It's more serial based. There's no real arcs in it. I mean, there are near the end of the series. Mm-hmm. It might be more interesting to talk about in as Declassified because there are those arcs early Maybe on. We just do like the Jimmy Neutron movies. Like those were those slapped. Jimmy. Oh, Neutron you mean the movies. specials? Yeah, those we specials. could do that. We could do that because I love that. There's show. the one that Tim Allen featured in. Yeah. That was Win, lose it, kaboom. Yeah. Remember that one? That I don't remember that one, but yeah. That's what that's. No, it was called Win Losing Caboose. Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. I just remember the. I just remember the themes of it. When Tim Allen was still sort of relevant. Yeah. And I was like, even as a kid, because of Toy Story, I was like, Tim Allen. 
Colin, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. What? We could do just all those uh, movies, all those movies, all those Nickelodeon Nickelodeon special movies, like the Fairly Odd Parents musical, the Jimmy Timmy Power Hours. We do a segment about those. But Brian, <laughs> just for a sec. How about we surprise them and not tell them immediately they have to find out on the next episode? Yes, that's a good idea, because we don't even know what we're going to do yet. We're just spitballing here. We have no idea, buddy boy. But yeah, I think we're definitely going to, uh, for the most part, uh, go into some of the things we liked as kids. Uh-huh. And kind of go at it with our eyes as almost 30-year-olds. Our eyes peeled with more cynicism baked into them. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't being an adult great? Great. It sure is random. Random dancing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Ryan. Quick, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm random dancing out. I'm sorry. Oh, but you were dancing over in the corner, I could tell. Do you know what the lie to me? <laughs> but yeah, we talked about like Carly. We talked about the show's future endeavors. What did we name our show? Oh yeah, it's the thing on. Cause I got, I, I've already engineered it. It's on the uh, title right there. Don't you yep. see? That's the title of our show. That's the title of our show. Isn't it great? It's a great title. We'll, we'll open with it next time, cause um, we know what it is, obviously. <laughs> right. But uh, you know, we just like anticipation. Anticipation. No, we're not doing an anticipation dance. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was going like imagination. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Well, uh, Brian, is, is, is that it, buddy? Is that all we got? I think that's it, because I need to rest a little bit before work. All right. Well, uh, my name is Brian. I'm one half of that Pokey Duo. And I'm Christian. Wait a minute. What, what's going on? Turn it off. Turn it off. Hey, excuse me. Can you turn that off? We're done with that. Ouch. Ah. Oh. 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 Brian. I'm really hurt. Okay? I'm really, what happened? I'm really hurt, man. What happened? I didn't see what happened. What happened? Uh, I fell down the stairs. The control panel people pushed me down. Oh, guys. Oh, that was that Pokey Duo cast. Whatever we're calling it. I'm going to need stitches. Ah.